A good way to make sure that your project contains the expected set of takeoff items is by creating a content plan or a model progression specification uh, which contains a definition of uh, the elements that you want to include in your project uh, together with uh, the layer names and the, the family types or whatever property you want to use to generate these takeoff items uh, which uh, ensures that the information you receive uh, from the model matches what is expected in the cost plan. However, sometimes it is needed to uh, correct these, uh, these rules or these plans manually and uh, Vico Office provides a functionality to do that. So Vico Office lets you reassign elements from one, one takeoff item to another takeoff item and uh, the, the process by which you do that is called painting and in this video I will explain the, uh, the takeoff item painting process. In this video, you will be introduced to painting of elements, which is the Vico Office term for assigning an element to a takeoff item. We will also unassign an element from a takeoff item and look it up using a 3D view filter. Lastly, I will explain how you can change the type of a takeoff item to get a different behavior and thereby a different set of takeoff quantities. As explained in the previous session, the takeoff manager highlights elements that are associated with the selected takeoff item. So when I click on the pile cap takeoff item, the pile cap elements are highlighted in the 3D view. I also use the isolate function to isolate those elements associated with the takeoff item. When you select a takeoff item, the cursor changes into a paintbrush, and that paintbrush uh, indicates that uh, painting mode is now active. And when painting mode is active, uh, you can add or remove elements from the selected takeoff item. Right now I have 56 pile cap elements included in this takeoff item. And when I hover over any of these elements, they pre-highlight, which means they indicate what will be painted if you left click. If I go ahead and left click on this element over here, I unassign that element from the pile cap element, from the pile cap takeoff item. And you can see that it went down from 56 to 55. So if I do that again over here, it goes down from 56 to 54. These two elements are now unassigned. So when I click on another takeoff item, the 3D view is restored. And maybe I want to find back those. Um, elements that have been uh, unassigned. You can use the filtering panel for that and you would remember the show only unassigned toggle that I mentioned earlier. Click the isolate button, apply, and now we will see back the uh, elements that we uh, unassigned from the pile cap element or from the pile cap takeoff item. I can go back and select the pile cap takeoff item now I paint again to reassign them back. So now I click and they are assigned to the pile cap takeoff item and they're back to 56. So that is the, the painting process, quickly uh, assigning including elements into takeoff items and thereby uh, QAing your model and, and correcting where necessary. Another thing you can do with the Takeoff Manager is uh, change the element type of an element or a takeoff item. In this case, if I expand this node and the slab on grade is currently set to the slab element type, I can click on that icon over here and change the element type to, say, an object. And if I change it to an object, a different set of takeoff quantities will be uh, generated off it. In the case of object, we only calculate count because objects typically are the more complex elements in a model. If I want to change it back into a slab, the quantity algorithm is executed again for this element and you will see that the original set of takeoff quantities are uh, returned again underneath the takeoff item. So this helps you to convert a takeoff item into an element type that returns the quantities that you need as input for your uh, cost plan or uh, for your quantity takeoff. In this video I use the paint mode in takeoff manager 
And using that mode allowed me to assign elements to other takeoff items or to unassign elements from a takeoff item. I then used the uh, unassigned elements filter in the filtering panel uh, to find the unassigned elements back so that I could assign them to a different takeoff item or assign them back to the original takeoff item. And then I also changed the element type of a takeoff item uh, to show how you can run a different set of quantity calculation algorithms on the same piece of geometry uh, to get a different set of quantities that may fit the, uh, the required quantities better than the original element type that was assigned to the takeoff item.